There's going to be some weird shenanigans with these minus five seconds again, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be another one, uh, but they should all be starting on the same time-ish. There you go. All right, they're off. All pretty much within a second of each other. Yeah, I think Polly started a little late, but so be it. That's all good. So, yeah, first thing they're doing is turning the sound effects all the way down, which is a, a crucial thing to do in a Crash 3 run. It feels counterintuitive to spend time messing about in settings. It's not like, uh, for example, you'll see in Hypno Shark running Spiral 2, he'll always turn vibration off because it bothers him. Uh, this is actually necessary tech for the run, right, Kieran? It is, yeah. It skips all of the cutscenes when going into levels. So you'll see like Cortex come up and be like, crash, crash. It skips all of that, uh, and it saves around a minute, a minute and a half during the entire run. So it's uh, not, you don't need to use it, but it is just free time save. It is nice that there's a bit of uh, menuing speedrunning in the platform as well. Yeah, yeah, you see it a few times because you have to back out of a few levels, but this one's probably the most key. It's at the start of the run, so it's really no harm. All right, well, they're all going through under pressure right now. Uh, you will, so, do you want to talk about the one cycles? Uh, because we are about to go into one immediately. <laughs> yeah, the first level is a, a one cycle, right? So... There are obviously multiple objectives to complete in every level in Crash. Uh, and one cycling is where you get multiple of those objectives at the same time when you should have to do revisits. Is that the simplest way to put it, Kieran? That is the most perfect way you've ever put anything. Uh, we're going to see uh, Potty and Burger do that now. Uh, Nitro takes a little detour. But um, basically, they're going to get the Relic and the Box Gem in the same visit. Um, and that is... It's pretty hard for, you know, mid-level, but these guys should just crack it easy whereas yeah nitroff has moved on to uh dorian express what's what's he up to so there is uh you know differences in routing with this game because it's so open it's a platform you could just pick between levels um and a lot of <laughs> a lot of the uh the routing is based around masks mask forms uh yep. you get a speed boost if you have three of them so uh he is taking a more probably safe way around but by doing so um he's not taking the cycles that you would normally gain under pressure sure well he, he did lose his mask earlier while we were talking there he so did, yeah but i think he's about to go into a relic he's looking for he was looking for cuddle skip there and does get it very nice yeah cuddle skip uh you we'll, we'll go into it a little bit later, but you skip a, a cuddle animation, which saves six seconds. And it's pretty hard to do. Uh, I'm pretty anti cuddle skip uh, myself. You like a I'm cuddle? Oh, I, I love a cuddle. Okay. Uh, as we <laughs> as we look on a uh, potty and burger, burger is just head buying a reef. Uh, potty gets it perfect. One hundred nine is really good actually. And burger gets a one thirteen. Yeah, both of them easy within the gold relic. Nicely done. What's the what's the gold relic time here? If you know uh, offhand, one seventeen. One seventeen. Well, Hitman's taking some damage, but he's gonna get that gold relic. He gets a one o two because he didn't do. He's the only one who didn't do under pressure one cycle. He does know how to do it. He's just doing a safe strat. I think he he got hit, so I don't know if maybe because he got hit, he didn't want to do the one cycle or couldn't do the one cycle. Yeah, he couldn't do the one cycle because he got the, the gem beforehand. Right. Because there, was no, there would be no point. No point at all. Oh. Uh, everybody in Orient now. All of them. All tigers. I don't know if I... Uh, this is one of the few levels I do have any memory of. I, I don't know if it was a... Uh, it might feel like it was a demo on something. Uh, Might have been. I have no it's idea. Sunny Beach is what I'm saying. Sunny Beach. Okay, got it. This is Sunny Beach, guys. Um... So, one piece of tech in this level, and it's really the only one, besides speeding up and slowing down, um, is jumping. Every time you jump, you save one frame. That is not a meme, that is completely true. You jump, you save one frame, so they're going to be jumping pretty much as often as they can, but it's kind of hard to do in the box visit, because there are boxes. You, know? you see, Potty didn't make cuddle skip, but we get to see a little cuddle, so, you know. Oh, neither does Burger. Oh, Oh, that's a lovely uh, 
Nitro is the first platform of the game, first platformer level. Um, and he's going to be doing it. Basically, the entire speed tech of this game when you're in a platforming level is NSJ or neutral slide jump. Uh, you do a slide, you let go of everything on the controller, and then you do a jump. And you keep doing that because it's fast. And you'll see that everywhere when you're on the ground. It's just what happens. So interesting. And obviously, you know, it's a long race. We've got a lot of time to go. We've got you know, a couple hours here. But it is interesting to me that Nitroff was the only one of the runners to get Cuddle Skip. Well, as for that, uh, if Potty had gotten Cuddle Skip, he missed the gem. So he would have, like, lost a bit of time to that. Oh, awkward. Yeah. So it's for the best that he did a Cuddle. It should always be for the best to do a Cuddle. Yeah. You can't be like this. Uh, That's what you said you wanted. I don't want this. Nitro finishing up Toe Village. Uh, he's going into Boneyard now. Ah, oh, double cuddle skip from 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 both Burger and Potty. There you go. So it's just Hypno Shark left in Orient Express, finishing up this relic. Does he get it? It doesn't look bad. Oh, barely misses. Barely. One final cuddle. Oh. Uh, so we're about to see Nitroff get a triple mask. And you'll see how much quicker he goes in doing NSJ. It's it's pretty crucial. You need masks in this game to go fast in any conceivable way. Um, and as for Burger, he's in the first jet ski level of the game. God, the jet ski sucks. Um, so there are there are wave cycles. So you see, like the the ocean, it's going up and down and up and down. Uh, the game has two sets of wave cycles. They have level cycles and they have respawn cycles. Currently, he's in a level cycle, so we'll just talk about that. Um, the waves, if they're down or if they're in a bad place, can just not work for you. You can miss boxes that you would normally get. Um, they are very hard to deal with, uh, and I wonder if we'll see any of those shenanigans happen um, to Burger. Burger, very knowledgeable. He probably knows the cycles like the back of his hand, um, but I'm just curious to see if anything will go wrong. All right, zooming out a little bit. Of course, this is a community event. You know, it was free for anyone to sign up. So how many runners have we actually got taking part today, Kieran? During this run, uh, we had 35 last week. We have 25 this week um, for Crash Free, which genuinely way more than I expected. Um, so thank you to everybody who's joined. Thank you to everybody who's watching right now. And 20 over 20 does mean that we have the uh, enhanced prize pot for today, right? It uh, sure as hell does. Sure, sure, sure as hell does. Jesus Christ. So what are, what are they playing for today? They are playing for a uh, $160 prize pool uh, for this one race. Uh, cut in the top three, 100, 40, and 20. So the winner gets a, a nice chunk. The winner gets a nice chunk out of this. Exactly. And shout out to everyone else who's taking part in the race, streaming in the category right now. We've got about 27 streams live in Crash 3 right now, 350 viewers. That is insane. Pumping that up. If you've got friends who love PlayStation platformers, send them a link, get them involved. If you want to support the Sprash League and see more events like this, you know, the best thing to do would be to hit that donate button. Uh, all the costs of the league are covered by Hypno Shark and Kieran, putting this event on for the community. But if you want to give back to them, help cover those costs a little bit and see if we can do some more events, just go ahead and hit that donate button. If you want. But you should, in appreciation, if you have the money. Don't if you don't. If you don't have the money, obviously, don't donate. But if you have the money, mm -hmm. you should. Mm -hmm. Thanks for selling out for me. Um, all right, we're, we're in we're in two different levels right now. Um, Boneyard and uh, making waves. Making waves going well for both Nitroff and Burger. It seems. Uh, wait, hang on. What happened to Burger? 
He's doing the relic? Yeah. Oh, he got button glitch. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, God. Get? Okay. Button glitch. <laughs> We're already seeing it this early in the run. Um, so normally the relic there uh, to get a gold is a 58. Uh, he got a 113. So he would have been way clear of not getting the gold relic. However, button glitch basically means you enter the portal and spin at the exact same frame. And in turn... You don't technically go into the portal, you're still able to move, but the level will start loading. And during that time, you can step on another button of a different level. Uh, for example, he probably hit four, which is Boneyard, and get the relic time for that level loaded. So instead of it being a 58, which is the Making Waves Gold relic, it ends up being like a 140. Or a one... Yeah, I think it's a 140, which is um, the Boneyard relic. So it becomes a way easier... Um, That's fucking mad, mate. It is crazy, isn't it? Oh. oh, some insane tech scene here. And that's, you know, something we talked about last week is that with Spyro, there there isn't necessarily a lot of tech in that category. It's very movement-based. And we're seeing, you know, very early on here that actually there's quite a lot of tech, quite a lot of uh, specific movement involved and glitches and things like that. Yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of niche stuff in this game that all combines into one pretty pretty hectic speedrun unless you're in like a vehicle level and then it's just chill so we're gonna we're gonna see uh we're gonna see burger come out of mate of sorry tote village now um he's gonna go into i think warp two is he done no he's going back in i'm confused at his route burger's route's really strange <laughs> Nitrov's doing the under pressure revisit right now. He is, yeah, saving it all the way for towards the end of warp one. But Potty is the first one to make it to Tiny. Uh, no, I think Nitrov was. Has Nitrov done Tiny already? Yeah, I think so. I see. Uh, Tiny, there is really nothing to talk about besides standing in the top corner, which I think anybody who's played this game knows about because uh, they put an easter egg in the insane trilogy if you stand there uh the scientists in the audience will start throwing tomatoes at you <laughs> yeah it's a fun little fun little easter egg so how broken the game was yeah this game's a little broken <laughs> it's a it's a little it's a little messy uh nitro flare getting one cycle under pressure, nicely done. Yeah, just to clarify, uh, the top three uh, of this race are um, Nitroff, Burger, and Potty. Um, not in that order. It's Burger, Potty, Nitroff, and Hypno is here because it's on his stream and he's uh, helping run the event. He is... And we're show we're showcasing his versatility and being able to play all six of these games. We are. We're looking at his journey of being um, the biggest man with the biggest forehead, and that's, that's what that's what Sprash League is all about, you know. Shout out Iron Spider as well, who completed his first ever speed run, if you could call it that, last week during the Star One race. Uh, Six hours something, but it was uh, it was a real hype moment when he finished, and he's come back again for Crash Three. He really has. He's really dedicated to the bit of um, playing a game blind. He actually didn't play this one blind. He streamed this a few days ago, um, which you know, give or take, uh, he's uh, a <laughs> he's he's really trying. I think last time he said he wasn't trying, but I don't know. If you if you play the game before doing the race, that counts as trying, right? Well, if you play any game for seven hours straight, that is trying. Yeah, I think that's a definition you're, of trying, actually. You're you're trying. You're certainly trying something. We can argue over what it is you're trying. <laughs> I mean, but you're trying something. You're trying, and you know what? He succeeded. Oh my God, Potty didn't get the relic in making waves. Oh no. 
He got a sapphire, and I think by two frames. And you need to get gold or better, right? You need gold or better. Gold or plat. Yeah, he missed it by 0 0.06. So two frames. You shut up, so. Wow, I, ca I cannot believe he missed that. Yeah, that is like a, a minute and a half gone in, in warp one for Potty. Wow, that is... That is upsetting. That is that is crazy. I did not expect to see that. You know, I did say Nitroff might be my guy, and I think it's fair to say he's in the lead at the moment. Uh, is he in the lead? He's uh, in the lead, too. Yeah, but I think he does one less level than Burger does in Warp 1. Potentially. I'm not too sure. Listen, the routes for this game are very um, weird across the board. Everybody has a different route, it feels like. Um, That's dumb. It is pretty dumb. It's the way Crash Free works, though, because you have to change it on the fly every now and then. So everybody will have a different route. Um, but when it gets to Warp 4, Warp 5, we'll sort of like converge and everybody will come back on track. No, oh, well, we'll know what everyone's doing in about hour and a half or so then. Yeah, come back. Come back in an hour, guys. Meanwhile, speaking of important questions, do you think there's any chance Logan Paul beats Roman Reigns? Uh, 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 no. What would be a bigger upset? Logan Paul beating Roman Reigns or Hypno Shark winning this race? Logan Paul. Also, Hypno, listen, talk what you want. The guy is going off right now. He's like, yeah. what? I don't know, 20 seconds behind Burger? Which that would know, be the only guy to ever bad. get us up to every time. Oh, Potty's in the chat talking about his luck, but yeah, I mean, I don't think he needs to tell us that was pretty, pretty unlucky. Yeah, what happened to him. that is that is what happens when wave cycles are not your friend. It's just what happens, and you'll see a lot more of that when we come into the latest uh, jet ski levels. So Potty is uh, just fin finishing up Toad Village, but the rest are all in warp two now. Yeah, everybody's in Warp 2, except for uh, Potty, who... I think, for the most part, Burger, Potty, and Hypno all have the same, like, levels they do in Warp 1. I think Nitroff is the only one who does it different. Um, but I think, with that in mind, I think he only misses out on, like, Orient. Like, Relic, maybe? So I think it really is, like, anybody's race still. Even even Hypno. Listen, I, I I think people are putting down my boy. I think I think he's got a shot. No, I think he definitely has too. I think he's he's certainly got a, a PB time that is not unreasonable as a winning time in a race situation like this. Yeah, I think he's got a pretty consistent you know streak going, um, and his time can get it. Somewhere in the top three, especially if like mistakes like that happen, uh, with like bad cycles. Uh, so I don't know, maybe, maybe, who knows? Yeah, I mean, just you know, because obviously these guys have high PBs, you know, we say Burger's got a sub two hour PB, but what we saw from Dale last week, where he was incredibly close to world records, uh, on a single resetless run, that's we don't expect that to be common in these race environments. Genuinely, would expect that the times to be a little bit down because you know they're having to they can't reset during this. Well, they can, but they, they wouldn't get the time back. So they just got to play the hand they're dealt. You know things like Potty missing that rel the the relic. He's just got to keep going. So he really does just got to keep pushing. And he would obviously, if he was you know just streaming or doing intense, he would reset that. Obviously, he would. But. Uh, you know, I'm just saying that if it was a 2.10 was the winning time in this race, you wouldn't be that surprised. No, I wouldn't be shocked. No, you wouldn't be like, oh, everyone shit the bed. It would just be, you know, yeah, that could be fairly believable. So, Hypno is in Tomb Time. 
Speaking of one cycles. He is in Tomb Time. Uh, so Tomb Time is the... Is it the only level you could do potentially three times and nobody would bully you? I think so. The Tomb Time, you do once for the crystal, once for the box gem and the normal gem, and once for the relic. But you can one cycle it and do it in two uh, goes. Um, however, it is very hard. Unless you get button glitch, really only the top level are going to go for it. And that's where a lot of the difference will come, I think. Interesting. So we're going to see... Yeah, Potty's coming into... Potty and Burger are coming into Tomb, tomb Titan. Nitroff, by the way, getting Cuddle Skip in uh, Midnight as well. Very nice. So get, yeah, look, uh, looking at the screens on the left, give us a shout if it looks like either of them are going for the one cycle. Uh, you won't do the one cycle until like an hour in. So don't worry. This is just the crystal. Right. Okay. So we're going to get the crystal now. And then come back. Yaha. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Nitro doing the, the midnight relic now. He's going to go for the. Uh... For the cobble skip again. Are we going to see uh, Hypno going for YGE soon in this level, or is that later uh, on? That is after Dingo Dial. All of them will do it after Dingo Dial, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think Burger might do it after Hog Ride and Dingo. It is quite impressive, you know, to as a, a fairly casual observer. There's quite a lot to kind of keep in mind when you're running these levels and running this game because there's so many revisits and you know, remembering if you've got one cycles or not and if you have to do another revisit and things like that. It's there's a lot of information. There is so much to remember and keep in mind, especially with the reroutes. Um, that's probably the biggest thing. You need to like on the fly think of the level you need to go into next if you for some reason don't have a mask. Um, hog ride uh, it is uh, the first bike level and you can tell it's the first bike level because it's easy as hell and this is what this is one of the easier levels in the run you were saying it might be the easiest potentially i take it you just have to win the race you have to win the race to get the crystal uh, and then there are obviously boxes scattered around CTR, eat your heart out. Mm. Except you only do one lap of this. It's preferable, really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of the biggest things I uh, haven't mentioned yet, and it hasn't, it's sort of like a niche thing that uh, happens in all the Crash games, but it doesn't really come too much into effect. Um, like visually uh zigzagging zigzagging is hitting left and right simultaneously or up and down simultaneously depending on your direction uh to make sure that you are going as fast as possible because every time you hit left or you hit right you go forward just a little bit like a few pixels um and whilst you're in the air or doing a slide uh, you can keep hitting it and you'll go really far if you've ever seen a tass of this game tool assisted speed run uh you know they go so quick with zigzag it's crazy all right we're gonna see hypno on a new level now going into midnight run oh we've already see we've already seen that and a couple of players as you say the the routing differences it's gonna be the yeah. next level coming up. It's gonna be it's gonna be Dingo Dial. Uh yeah, yeah, probably for Sam. Um I don't know when Nitroff does it. Um But Burger also has Hog Ride to do as well. See a damage boost there for Cuddle Skip for Burger. I'm just wondering where in his route he's going to go next. 
We'll go back into midnight and do the relic now. Do the relic, yeah. Uh, so we've got three people in Midnight. Uh, something to mention in Midnight is you don't want two masks. You never want two masks in Midnight. Because, for whatever reason, some of the boxes will not spawn if you have two masks. Right. Uh, it's just another niche thing that this game you need to remember. Uh, and hopefully some of the players uh, who aren't on screen, who are maybe like less experienced, don't fall for that trap. I feel like I would definitely fall for that. Someone tell Iron not to fall for that. Yeah, somebody go into his chat and tell him not to fall for that. Give him context, ideally, as well. <laughs> don't just don't just tell him not to fall for that. You're welcome, Taranuk. I didn't know it either. I don't know many things about this game. Burger and Potty both getting it. Nicely done. Hypno Shark in Dingo. His he, it's his favorite video game character of all time. Um, Why? Nobody knows. Yeah, he was a stupid kid. Um, but it's he, a very he, easy he boss fight. With Dingo's big dumb face. He does have a big dumb face. You just jump over the icicles. He's a very easy boss. You'll see it on Polly's screen now. Uh, the bosses in this game are less than desirable. They're pretty easy. It depends what you're after in your bosses, right? You know, if you're looking for that premium Gnastic and Orc experience, then these bosses are actually positively exhilarating. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Yeah, if you want. Are there any good bosses? Ever? Um, Is is the final Reptile fight in Sparrow too good? Uh... It depends if you've got Fireball. Yeah. Okay. Hit no screen. Look at it. He's doing YGE. This is Yellow Gem early. You are going right. to see him at the end of the level. This is a one cycle, by the way. At the end of the level, you're going to see him jump over a pit, land on something that you can't see, but he knows is there, a platform which will travel back, and if the camera moves with him, he got the trick. Um, this is hard to do, the way it works is you jiggle yourself when you land uh, to make sure that the camera travels back with you. Uh, let's see if he gets it. All right, here we go. Beautiful stuff. He just needs to jump back over now and get the gem. Oh, perfect. Lovely stuff. Fantastic. Uh, you do that fast enough and you get the relic alongside the gem. That is a one cycle and he's done it perfectly. Great stuff. Are we going to see uh, Potty doing that just yep, now as well? Yeah, Potty's about to jump into it. Pun intended. He gets it as well. Hopefully he doesn't die. Glorious. Fantastic from him. How many entrants are there in this race? 25. 25 people taking part in this race. Yep. Is he, should... the, is he in the lead? That's a really good question. We're, we're... It's hard to tell. Is who in the lead? Which one? Anyone. Anyone? God, it's hard to t It is really is hard to tell. Um, I think it might be Burger, but I'm not sure. It's definitely not Potty. I know that for a fact. Although, YGE getting it uh, probably made, you know, probably boys moral, moral high. Do you know when they started setting off fireworks about 20 minutes before this race started near me? I thought, oh, that's good. They'll be out of the way by the time we start the race. They're still going. Yeah, yeah, no, I can tell because my dogs just keep barking. Thank God I've got push to talk. So it's going to be Nitrov's turn to go for the YGE now? It is, yes. Uh, well, this is really the, the tone setter for the early early phase of the race. It really is. Uh, all these runners are going to want to get it. And, you know, that might 
you know, build their confidence for the rest of the run. All right, here he goes. Yep, gets it. Not a problem. Lovely stuff. That's three out of four. We just need to see if Burger gets it now. And this is going to be his time to go get it now. It'd be, not, it'd be nice to see them all get it. It's a major trick early in the run. Uh, with that being said, Nitro is going to go into Hub 3. Wolf 3. Uh, and are we starting with Double Header? No, we're not. We're starting with Dynamite. This looks a lot like the Boneyard. Huh, weird. The run out of creativity? Yeah. Cool. Anyway, burger going in. Might get it. Let's see. Okay, that was a slightly delayed camera move, but he gets it. That, looked really that, was, that was probably the most sketch of the four. That did look really close. You know, he's, a, he's the best. He's got the world record for a reason. Uh, his capture card did something wild there. Nice. So yeah, you're going to see um, Nitrop and Burger do Dynamite now, opening up into uh, one of the longest levels in the run. Um, because you need to and I will try and make this as brief as possible. You need to go through half of the level, get to a checkpoint, jump on the bonus, do the bonus, go backtrack, go on to the yellow gem, and then do the yellow gem path, and it'll put you back where about half of the level is. Go to the end of the level, get the box gem, die, go on to the secret pterodactyl, which is there for some reason. The game is really bad, by the way. Uh, get spawned into Aegipus Rex, do Aegipus Rex Relic and Gem at the same time, that's a one cycle. And then you wait for five items to be thrown up in the air, which is actually 20 seconds long. What? Yeah. Come on, I think I said it pretty obviously. Yeah, I'm just going to pretend it made sense. Cool. TLDR, it's a very long level, um, and a lot of things can go wrong in it. Um, yeah, so now so, is backtracking to get the he got the crystal and he's now backtracking he's, for the yellow. He got the checkpoint and he's done the bonus, so now he's backtracking to get to the yellow gem path. While getting all the boxes he missed on the first way, first way through. Yes. How much does it save to do? A one cycle instead of a two cycle. I assume you mean, uh, like, going through and doing all of this instead of going into Egipus Rex. Uh, I it probably saves. I don't know, like forty, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know how long it takes to get to Egipus Rex from the beginning. Probably, probably more like a minute actually. All right, so where, where is he in the level now? Remind me. Okay, uh, Nitroff currently. Well, they're both on the yellow gem path, but Nitroff is halfway through the yellow gem path, and Burger is just slightly behind him. All right. So from here, they're going to go uh, into uh, like the second part. They're going to finish this second part. They're going to be spawned back about where the middle of the level normally is, where the bonus is. They're going to finish the level, get the gem, die at the very, very end of the level after getting the gem, and then be spawned back on the secret path and go on a, a pterodactyl, which takes you to a secret level. I think I could say it 20 times, you still wouldn't get it. No. Yeah. Cool. Why uh, is there just a hidden level pterodactyl? There's a, the, yeah, there's, obviously. Every game has that, idiot. I wish more games did have it. Yeah, true. Uh, 
as we can see in the other two screens, they're in double header right now. Uh, double header. Uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more later. But every time you enter double header, because of either the rain, which is in the level, adding more like stuff, I don't know, the assets, if it's too big, it has a chance of crashing on entering. Nice. Uh, we have allowed for this race uh, all runners to, if it's a crash, which is commonly known and such, uh, you are allowed a backup save. So I think a few of these runners, maybe all of them, have got a save prepared in case it does crash. But hopefully none of them get it. Uh, and as you can see, Nitroff in Agapus Rex, the secret level, uh, and Berg is about to go into it. Uh, as you can see, the Pterodactyl he's coming up to. It's not the first one, it's the second one. Of course, yeah. It's not every Pterodactyl that's the secret Pterodactyl. No, no, no. Oh, there's so many Pterodactyls in this game. You've got to pick the right one. And a double header, that's a weird name for a level. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Go on, make the joke. It's funny. Why is it called double header? No, no I'm not. I'm not. I'm not joining in on this. I'm just asking. I'm not joining in on this. You not, dirty, dirty-minded man. I'm not doing anything. No, I'm just asking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's because of that big, ugly, two-headed guy. Would you call me? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Burger right now is probably ahead just because of Nitroff entering uh, one less level in Warp One. But it's pretty close between the two, I imagine. Do we night drop and burger? Yes. That is that is what I said. Wonderful. My my sweets pee. Uh no Burgerland no double header crashes. Say again, sorry. Uh Garma saying burger lands is ahead because Nitroff skipped a level. I mean Yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably technically true. We'll see. That is what I said. Called. That is what I said, Callum. God, you're so pretty. I am really pretty. You That's are. That's why I'm here. Okay, uh, so Nitroff just uh, entered Hot Cocoa, which is the second of two secret levels. Uh, you get this one by going into Road Crash and hitting the alien sign. A little more obvious than just finding a pterodactyl out of nowhere. Uh, this is a one cycle. Also, it is uh, relatively difficult for like... Uh, mid-level player, but these guys should get it pretty, pretty simple. Um, a fun fact with Hot Coco: these guys are playing on American, uh, the NTSC version, because um, it's just faster. But on PAL and on uh, the Japanese versions, you can't do the one cycle because, and here's something just hilarious, this is how broken this game is the Road Crash Relic is a 120, that's the level that you go into to get into the secret level for this yeah uh, but, it's meant to be like the Hot Cocoa is meant to be a 38 for a gold here's the catch in the NTSC version, it counts the Road Crash Relic as the Hot Cocoa Relic it also does the same with Agapus Rex but you can get the one cycle even on PAL in Agapus, but you can't on Hot Cocoa because 38 is just too much, too little time. Isn't that hilarious? Nitro's struggling with this uh, time box here. He is struggling. Waves are kind of ruining it for him. He does there get it. Go. That is probably the hardest box in the level. But you can miss it, you know, three or four times and still get the gold. Shout out Prophet for the raid. Thank you very much. Welcome in everyone. This is the Crash 3 race week 2 of Sprash League. Get excited. From Spyro last week to Crash 3 this week. And what we got coming up next week, Kieran? We've got Spyro 2 next week, mate. Ooh, I yes, know. I know. Hopefully I won't be here for that one. I mean, I, I actually know things about that game. So. I, I don't. I am I am lost. So hopefully we will find a guest commentator who isn't Kieran SR. I know I'm kind of enjoying this uh, chemistry we're building. Do you call it chemistry? 
something. I call it torture. Nitroth gets the one cycle in Hot Coco. He does really well. Uh, deep trouble for the other two players. Uh, Hypno and Potty. Now, Why? What's happened? What? Oh, nice. Good stuff. Yeah! That's, that's awesome! So they're going to go to the end of the level and they're going to get a uh, exclamation mark box. And they're going to backtrack to about halfway in the level again. Uh, but this time it's intentional. This is an intentional thing, not like Dynamite. And it's another one of these racing levels, the bike levels from for Nitro off. Yeah, Road Crash. Um, what Hypno Shark says is the hardest of the racing levels in the game. I mean, he would know. He, he is the racing, the crash racing game expert. Uh, sure, yeah. I probably trust his opinion. I'm glad, some, the... I'm glad somebody does. Thank oh. God. That's sad. <laughs> it's not sad. I can say it. I've known him for a while. You know, just a few days. Yeah, you know, when you guys met last week, you really hit it off. You really did. Yeah. Good guy. Pissed and everything. Okay. Sorry, that's just my dreams. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> uh, both Polly and Hypno. Getting the secret part of uh, Deep Trouble, just perfect. Lovely stuff. Getting that red gem. Wonderful. Uh, in Road Crash for Burger and Nitroth, they're not going to get the boxes on the first turn. They're going to wait until the Relic. Because uh, it does save a bit of time. Because uh, normally you would get all the boxes in the Relic anyway. It's a pretty difficult Relic to do. Um, so they're just doing it all in one it's not really a one cycle but it kind of is it's it's a, you know you still do two attempts right it's just something to note you know obviously these players are hugely experienced and know what they're doing in crash 3 but it, it does also bear saying you know the all the gems and stuff that you have to do none of this is kind of spelled out to you in the game it doesn't tell you how to get you know the box gem is, is spelled out but other than that doesn't really tell you how you're supposed to do any of these things. Uh, yeah, a few of the secret like gems and areas, and genuinely, if you were able to find Egipus Rex, go on that pterodactyl without finding out either by a friend or looking it up or anything like that, then congratulations, you're the only person who has ever done that. Yeah. It's not like, I, I say, like an orb challenge in Spiral 2, where you talk to an NPC and the NPC tells you what to do, and then a set of instructions come on screen. No, it's just hey, hey, here's a game. Go find it. Oh uh, yeah, there's there's a red gem. What does that mean? Not telling you. Tee -hee. Tee -hee, why, 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 is the, why is this one red? Felt like it. It does give you a small indication, as you can see on the burger stream. Uh, like the the items show up on each level, and they you know. There's a red gem in this level, and it's like, that's cool. Where, though? <laughs> Where and how? Uh, so we're going to see the relic from both Nitroff and Burger. Reminder, if they miss a box, they have to restart the relic. Um, that was so scary from Nitroff. He was inside that car. <laughs> oh, my God. So it, it looks right now like... It, you know, we're saying Burger is ahead because he's ahead of level, but he's pretty much level on screen with where Nitrov is, and it looks like the same for, for Potty and Himmelshock. Yeah, I think, you know, you've got two two different stories going off here. Um, Burger is slightly ahead of Nitrov, even though it doesn't look like it, uh, and I think Hypno is barely ahead of Potty. I think... I'm not too sure how their routes. Well, I think Potty, yeah, I think Potty is slight is slightly ahead now. He did, but why does he use not use the dinosaur and Hitmoshark Shark does? Because the dinosaur's slow. The dinosaur is just a slow but safer alternative. Because if you take a hit with the dinosaur, it's like Yoshi. The dinosaur right. goes yeah, away yeah, instead yeah, yeah. of your mask. And you can use that damage abuse there for a slightly quicker line at the end of that section. Yes. I'm learning as we go. This is great. You're picking up a few things. I'm proud of you. I'm 
considering I played this game for the first time two days ago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you should. You should finish it. You should get 105. This is, as I said, this is my favorite game of all time ever since I was seven years old. Um, I have I have been in love with this game for about 15 years. Um, and I understand it gets a lot of shit, but I'll, I'll defend it to the ends of the earth because I'm... I'm biased like that. Well, next week we've got Spyro 2, which I would say is pretty even with Spyro 1 is my favourite. And then it's all downhill from there. Hold on. Did I miss... Did Burger... Did Burger miss a box? Or did he, like, fail the relic? Yeah, that's what um, Curse Prophet's saying. Oh, my... That's what I was mentioning. I was like... it. It seems so nonchalant to me, but it can just happen. This game is so crucial in so many of the minute things. Uh, Burger Stream potentially having an issue. Uh, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think he's. I think his stream's having a bit of an issue. That's all right. We'll carry on and we'll get him back. There, he, he's coming back. He's coming back. He'll catch up at some point. We will uh, we'll switch to Hypnoshark's audio. He might be talking every now and then, uh, but this is just to make sure that the stream is functioning nicely. If he says anything interesting, let us know. So, yeah, so that... Burger's now just getting that relic and box gem at the same time. So he's doing the one cycle on Road Crash. Yeah, he got it this time, but obviously missed. Like, I think he's losing like a minute and a half, which is pretty similar to what Potty missed uh, in making waves. So they're probably about even now. And okay. in the funniest turn of events, uh, uh, you know, the person we were. Bigging up before this race, Nitroff is in the lead. He's he's winning the race. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I think that does that mean that Nitroff is winning, and it it does, which is very cool. This could be a huge underdog story, which would be such a brilliant uh, contrast to last week, where we just had the world record holder show up and uh, destroy everyone. Yeah, the, no, it, it was it was such a different race last time. Where it was a fight for second instead of an anybody at the top race. Uh, but this is what it's looking like. Yeah. And just a wonderful demonstration of how good a runner Dale was. It was a, a pleasure to watch that last week. If you haven't seen it, go check out Hypno Sharks YouTube channel. The VOD is there. Uh, and the full VOD from, him, from Neil's perspective is on his channel. Exclamation mark YT if you want to see that YT. But don't don't watch it just yet. We've got a race going on, guys. Add it to your watch later and uh, come back to it. Uh, no crashes in double header, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, although Burger does save them for a little bit later, uh, which is terrifying to me. Curse Prophet did. Uh... Drop that little donate link there, which is a good reminder that if you want to support this event, this event is fully covered and costed by Hypno Shark and Kieran. But if you want to give back to them to help support that and support future events, hit that donate button. If you're able, if you've enjoyed the show, if you've got a little bit of spare change, that would be much appreciated for everyone here. Hypno Shark just finishing Agapus Rex now. Uh, Potty a little bit ahead of Hypno Shark. I think right now the order is Nitroff, Potty, Hypno Shark maybe burger behind i think i don't know where burger is compared to the other two i genuinely don't have a clue yeah i think that that's that's what i was gonna say i, I know that he's obviously now dropped away from nitrov to where we have we don't have the two pairs anymore but it's hard to know if he's kind of dropped in between them or if he's being pulled into that fight yeah i'm not i'm not too sure we'll find out in a bit i suppose So this is uh this is a different swimming level, it's not under pressure. This is a different one. This is deep trouble. Deep trouble, that's it. 
Because you made that very funny joke. Oh yeah, I did make that really funny joke. I didn't know that that was what this level was. It's okay, don't worry. My, uh, my co-commentator may have done some illegal business before this. Don't say that. I'm a, I'm a professional. Yeah, 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 for sure. Jesus. What? I'm, I, I agree. Fireworks are still going off here after an hour. That's kind of putting me off. You should go, but... fight, you should go fight them with your fists. Not where I live. I would get stabbed. Uh, two people Scotland, were actually, yeah. <laughs> actually murdered about five minutes from my house this week. Okay, that's a real dampener. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but like, body, like, body and Hypno were in a hot cocoa, guys. They were, hot found, cocoa. They were found like mutilated. Like, that's something, like, awesome. Hot cocoa, guys. Hypno, oh, Hypno died. He died pretty early on, but still. Yeah. This is a tough level, though. Lots of bombs, lots of boxes. You have to weave in between. And you got to get those waves right and not get bumped into something. It's just... It's just a it's just a hard level to get consistent. A whole lot of trouble. A whole lot of deep trouble. Oh! -ho -ho. So that's Crystal and Box Gem from Deep Trouble. And the Red Gem... For Burgo. He's going he's into gonna... double header. Okay. I think this is the last of like the double header sprees. Hopefully no crash. Good, good. He still has the relic though, which is probably more scary. Uh, Nitroff coming out of deep trouble as well. So they're both gonna go back for the for the relic later on. Um, I believe Burger will. Uh, Nitro might just go back in. No, he's going into double header relic now, I believe. So does that that pits Nitro off ahead of uh, Nitro? Nitro is in the lead of this race, so like right yeah. now. Helpful of him to do the relic at the same time as Burger is just doing it regularly to help us figure that out. Yeah, I think they have a pretty similar route besides Warp 1. So he's in that secret platform level. We're going to see more of those NSJs. Ah, oh, he's learning. NSJs. He's learning. Wow. Oh, he finished up with hot cocoa going into road crash now. I'm just watching Hypno's hot cocoa. He doesn't. I, I, I don't want to read his face, but it sounds like he it feels like he might not be enjoying himself. Yeah, he died a few times at the start, so he's not he's not enjoying it right now. It's probably one of his one of the only big mistakes he's made so far this run. Yeah, I think he's running. He's probably running against averages with that two twelve. He is, yeah, and he was you know a minute ahead of them, so yeah. you know. Not bad. Dropping over 20 seconds here. Uh, he's losing around 30, actually. Probably more. Probably more like 35, 40. Wow. That's a big loss. And are we getting a, a new level from... Uh, we, ha we have seen high time, but uh, high time. we're going to see it from Nitroff and Burger now. High time has a one cycle, but you'll only see it after entropy, um, for the sake of having a fun little upgrade that we'll see in a little bit um, called Death Tornado Spin. So you're going to see them get the box gem and the crystal on this visit, and then you'll see them go on the secret death route uh, in the relic to get the purple gem. Ah yes, the purple gem. Ah yes. And he's gonna go back and get a double header relic later on, but he's in the same level as, as Nitro right now. They're pretty much leveled on our screens. Oh, having some trouble with the body slams though. So again, you'll see um 
you'll see Potty and Hypno miss the boxes on purpose in Road Crash. Uh, they'll go for the one cycling road crash again not too hard but they'll do it after entropy entropy the third boss oh my god it is uh also very easy uh, the hardest of the three so far but still easy well, i mean one boss you just had to sit in a corner and watch him it wasn't yeah yeah doesn't get doesn't get much easier than that when you see potties do it is the our first to do entropy yeah, again, listen, the routes are weird for this game. They are just weird. But now the other two joining him, Nitroff and Burger. And we're about to see Hypnoshot go into it as well. Lovely. So you'll see them jump on the sides because you can't get hit whilst you're down there. Uh, and that's it. It's easy. Janky. You also see Nitroff and Burger do some wacky stuff because they just want to be cool. It's it's absolutely cosmetic, doesn't save time. Just as long as you stand on any of the side pieces, it's fine. Uh, but they're just trying to show off. And why not? They just got hit at the exact same time. They're they're Almost like frame lined up. Yeah, two very similar players. Okay, so Potty doing high time one cycle now. Uh, this is what I was talking about. Uh, he wants Death Tornado Spin during this. Death Tornado Spin, by the way. You hit Spin a bunch and you go further. That's as easy an explanation as you'll get. Right. Oh. Like that. Like, yeah, like that. Oh. Yeah, I, I do find the movement tech, the, the hanging in the air stuff is all pretty hilariously janky. How does that work? Hanging in the air stuff? Yeah, where you can jump and be in the air for ages. Uh, that's just mashing square. That's the, that's the death tornado spin. It stalls you in the air for a bit. Lovely. You can see them use that to avoid so many obstacles. It does make a lot of the execution easier. It's a very helpful power-up. Um, and beautiful, beautiful one cycle from Potty there, 59. Just textbook. Is this our final double header visit in the top left right now from Burger? I think so, yeah. Oh, he's done a body slam. <laughs> okay. Oh, big big exhale from, from Hypnoshark there. Yeah, he's just trying to compose himself. He's got high time to do here, and then he's going to go back in a road crash. Let's see if the racing game expert can make up any time on the racing level. And that's what you were talking about with the mask, right? Is he, you know, he took a hit there that he knew he could just kind of walk through to save some time. Yeah. Because he's going to lose because he's going to lose his mask in the racing level anyway. He's going to lose his mask when he goes into the relic for yeah road crash. As you can see on Nitro's screen, I don't think I ever mentioned it, uh, Potty and Hypno didn't do it. Um, you can jump up on the hangrail on top of it. You don't need to hang on, just stand on them. Uh, it's a pretty hard thing to do, uh, requires a lot of height, and you don't get the free crate for doing it, but it's faster. So well done to him to getting that. Nitro's shown us a lot so far. Nitro, genuinely, really, really good. Um, it's just he, you know, struggles getting the run. They got the run earlier today, and this could well be the run again. He's he's kind of pulling out a barnstorm. I think still in the lead. He's also he's 
running against his PB and is a minute and a half up. Yeah, which is crazy. This is this could be big. <laughs> this could be huge. This is the PB that he only set earlier today. He would be nearly yeah. two minutes up on his PB from yesterday. Very impressive stuff. And that closes out warp three for uh for Nitroff. Where are we going to go from there? Oh, okay. He's doing Boneyard 1 Cycle now. Okay, Boneyard 1 Cycle is uh, similar to 1 Cycles. He's going to do the Relic here. Uh, but he's not going to do the normal level. He's going to go through the uh, Red Gem path. This is pretty difficult to do. Normally, the Relic is a 140. Uh, you can get it like uh, in a 13x. 135 normally for like most uh, high level runners um but a few mistakes can really ruin your boneyard so hopefully he gets it it looks from the splits so that that's what's what a uh, burger is going to do next as well he's going to go and do this yes boneyard revisit and then the tomb time revisit the tomb time one cycle also there's a lot of one cycles uh in the mid mid section of this run is that because of the uh, the upgrade that you get? It's it is, yeah. The more upgrades you get, the easier it becomes to do one cycles and relics. Interesting. I'd say the more, the more I'm, you know, learning about watching this and enjoying the race, it very much does seem like routing is really important and remembering your route is uh, is a lot of information to remember. It is very crucial. Very very. I imagine it's not that difficult to get to the end and realize you just forgot a visit or something. I don't want to talk about it, man. <laughs> uh, twice now, during like no resets, I have forgotten uh, the dynamite relic. Um, what? Just because I'm an idiot. So it looks like here that Hypnoshark is just doing dynamite relic, whereas, uh, and Potty's just doing dynamite relic. Yes. The other, the other two did the, the Red Gem 1 cycle. Yeah, the other two are doing Boneyard uh, 1 cycle, which Nitroff has just finished. Uh, he'll now do Under Pressure 1 cycle. Which Burger's already done. No, he won't. Where is he going? Is he, I think he meant to enter Toad Village. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he was meant to enter Toad Village. Does he not have a revisit to do for... For that level? Uh, no, he he needs to do the um needs to do uh the relic for this. He just accidentally entered the wrong level. So there wasn't any on the fly routing that he could do there to stay in that level once he went in their bags. No, no, I think he's already done everything and under pressure. It's a shame. Burger reckons they're going to sync up just after this level when they both go into Tomb Time. Uh, that is very likely, yeah. Um, because as we said, Nitroff missed one level. This is the level he did miss. Uh, and then once they do Tomb Time, it will be probably back on track. I don't know if Berg is missing anything. Well, Berger is also running against PB, so he's currently on pace for what? Like a... A two, 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 three, two. Two, three something. 202 right now. Oh, we got bone glitch. He got bone glitch for tomb time. This is going to make the one cycle so much easier. It turns it from a 110 relic to a 120. So he gets 10 extra seconds. Uh, so the way this one cycle works, by the way, Sam uh, is in Tomb Raider. Um, just something to note. It's a dumb level. Uh, what they're going to do is they're going to do the bonus. They are going to get none of the checkpoints or boxes going to the bonus. Once they've done the bonus, they're going to die. Nitroff accidentally got the checkpoint. He has to restart the level. Oh, <laughs> that is some time loss. Uh, so once he's done this, he's going to die and get spawned at the start of the level again. Yeah. 
Uh, that... Because Nitroff got the checkpoint, he had to rest he had to start this all over again. Yeah, because you can't do the relic if you don't spawn at the start. Uh, it's a real shame for him, and it feels like again Burger might be might be in the lead here now, particularly with that mistake. And I I do think so, yeah. And Potty is basically right where Nitroff is now. Yeah, yeah, no, this is a <laughs> we are back to a free horse race. So many twists and turns in Crash Free, really. Um, and obviously now he's going to get all the boxes and the the secret path gem uh, during this relic. Uh, and he'll get the one cycle, hopefully. Uh, he did get button glitch, so he has 10 seconds extra of leeway. Well, as we're well over an hour into this race now, just want to shout out all the other live channels. There are 28 ch channels live in the Crash Bandicoot Warped category right now. And over 500 viewers welcome into all of you whether you're watching here or watching any of the individual streams we hope you're having a good time because uh we certainly are i'm having a great time this is i'm enjoying myself yeah watching uh you know i've watched a bit of crash 3 this week and tried to familiarize myself but i'm, I'm very much learning on the fly here and oh oh nitro having some trouble with that box he had to double back for yeah i don't know if he got button glitch so he might fail this the, the tomb time relic the tomb time one cycle is very very tight if you aren't using button glitch as you can see burger had button glitch and he still got a 108 which is two seconds ahead of gold if you don't get button glitch and i don't know if potty did or nitroff well we'll see when he finishes here i get it looks like yeah, nitroff is actually ahead now Uh, yeah, I think Potty's ahead of Nitroth. Yeah, sorry, Potty, Potty is, is ahead in the level. Oh! Oh, I think that's, I think that's dead, even if it was button glitch now for Nitroth. So he's oh, gonna have to get the, uh, the box gem and then do the relic normally. So he's gonna have to do a whole nother visit. Yeah, this has been bad. Minutes. Real bad for Nitroth here. I think oh. Potty barely makes the relic. He does, I think. Yeah, yeah, nice. Great stuff from Potty there. Unfortunate for Nitroff, though. Very unfortunate. Yeah, that really sucks. And even if he wasn't going to win, he was still on a, a really good PB pace, but... Yeah, oh, okay. Potty, Potty did get Bun Glitch, so he would have got it anyway. Um, so, great stuff from, from Burger and Potty there. Oh, Nitroff. Nitroff's gonna... He's gonna lose all of his time saved to his PB here. That's... That's a... That's a gutter. I'm confused why he finished the level. Why don't you just restart the relic? Yeah, I mean, maybe, again, I wasn't thinking on... The, oh, that's a... Unfortunate death for Burger. And Tomb Raider. Yeah, you need to, uh... What happened there is he, um, actually, what happened? What did happen there? I think, I don't know. A lot of, a lot of strange decisions coming from, from, from the competitors. Uh, I think, I think people are a little stressed. I think we've got some stress, stress gamers right now. Yeah, I think the the pressure of the high stakes is is getting to them a little bit. Uh, Rip Blue Gem for Burger. No, he he doesn't. You don't go into the death row until the second visit. Uh, maybe he um, got the checkpoint. Uh, <laughs> this is another weird thing. With crash free. Uh, he if you get the, okay, so if you do the bonus, and you don't wait for the tally to fully go up on the bonus, right? Mm. Uh, and then you die without getting a checkpoint of saving the box tally, you no longer are able to get the box gem. So maybe that happened. We're going to die if the one still got locked out of one of the bonus boxes. Yeah, okay, that's... Yeah. So uh, he has to restart, and I think he's doing the rest of the levels just because of mask routing, I think. Yeah. Uh, that is that is the volatility of Crash 3. It just happens. Is that is that maybe why Nitroff uh, 
finished then? Would, would masks be a good enough reason? No, to... because of Relic. <laughs> sure, yeah. I'm just if, saying... he, if he just if he restarts the Relic and does the Relic from the beginning of the level, uh, even like exiting the level, it wouldn't change anything. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to find a reason for that because I do think it's an interesting decision, like you say. I I genuinely just think it was a misplay. I think that's all it was. Um, and I think <laughs> out of out of nowhere, I don't think Polly's been in the lead this entire race, but I think he is or is close to now. Yeah, I mean he's certainly in it. He's certainly in the thick of it. Um. This is this is a wild, wild race. <laughs> this is crazy. And let's not let, listen. We've we've ignored Hypno Shark a little bit, but he has had a pretty you know. Besides Hot Coco going a little, you know, topsy turvy, this has been a pretty good run for him. Yeah, I mean, he's stabilized from losing that thirty seconds uh, a while back. He's lost another uh, three seconds since then, but he's he's managed to keep it pretty on an even keel, which is what you need to do when you've had a bad level in this scenario you can't reset you just got to keep going and and try and stop the bleeding really yeah just one foot in front of the other that is a that's not a bad death for night draft i think but it is a death yeah it's right there so it's it's not a lot of time lost but potty doing the one cycle for tomb wader should get a 115 pretty normal time for Tomb Raider one cycle. Yeah. Burger Lens is it, has now said in chat for like the third time that he hopes his game crashes. That's, you might still you might still win. That's good. You know <laughs> I'm glad. The amount of people coming up to this race were like, yeah I hope my game crashes is uh it's funny. Uh <laughs> a little demoralizing. Funny though. It's funny but you, you would actually lose if that happened. You know, you know that, right? You would lose. Engine can crash the game? Yeah, it can. It sucks. Uh, you break off, like... I think it's if you kill uh, four of, like, the arms too quickly. Like, four of, like, the shoulder things too quickly. They're too good. I'm not, I don't think it's too quickly. I think it's too quick in the span like you kill two of them at the same time ish i think that's how it works i'm not totally sure all right there's tell no tales now for potty and obviously hypno sharks in there as well doing the relic As we yeah. get to probably about an, one hour from the end, you would say? Uh, I would hope so, for a few of them. Um, uh, Hypnoshark, probably, yeah, on the tail end of that hour. Uh, Tell No Tales, really not a lot to talk about, neither Bye Bye Blimps. Um, it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty normal stuff. You just go around, get the boxes, um... I would listen. I think this is an unpopular opinion. I think Town of Tales is easier than making waves. Interesting. I do. That's what I genuinely believe. Um, but I'm also not very good at this game. So you're quite good at the game. Yeah. Yeah. You're quite good. I think I'm okay. You coy little munchkin. That's nobody's ever called me that before. All right, Hypnoshark having a slightly easier time with this than he had with Hot Coco, certainly. Yeah, for sure. Um, did Poddy die? No, he didn't die. No, he still has two masks. <clears throat> so that's Tell No Tales done for Hypnoshark. Going into Sphinxinator, another level with another one cycle. Plenty of one cycles to go around. So he's going to get the crystal and the box gem here and then come back for a secondary gem and the relic. That the spot on, mate. Well done. He's got it on his splits. It's helping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Uh, he'll go onto the blue gem path on the second second go. Oh, very nice movement there with the death spiral. And Tunnel Tales, it's gonna need a it's gonna be a revisit from Potty to get the relic. So he's not done with it yet. No, he's uh he's going to he's I think he's rerouting because he lost a mask in Tunnel Tales. No, he has two masks. Oh, okay. He's doing this now because he has two masks. Probably just a safety precaution. There's some real thumping beats coming from near you, Garen. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just my ass. <laughs> anyway, the, uh, Sphinx and I, I a bonus. Um, lots of TNTs. If you die and don't wait for the tally to go to 28, um, you have to restart the entire level. So I imagine he might, yeah, damage abuse and get those. Uh, Potty having some trouble with that TNT there. It didn't go off, so he had to double back for it. There we go, he gets it now. Yeah, those TNTs. TNTs work really weird in this game. Uh, I'll try and give a quick explanation. Um, if you uh, explode the monster on screen, they'll break everything within like about a two box radius, right? If you get them off screen and you are far enough away from them that they deload. Well, I mean, if you're far enough away that they deload and they'll explode everything around them again within a two box radius. If for whatever reason you're off screen, but they are still not deloaded and it explodes within those three seconds that the TNT does, it'll only explode the TNT and none of the boxes around it. So you really have to either bucket, go straight forward or wait. And TNTs can be really annoying that way. Nice. Yeah. Another fun little niche fact for this this game. Hypnoshark waiting for the door. The door is fully open, though. Yeah, I wasn't sure what was going on there. Uh, I, think, gonna, I think he took damage. One cycle? No, he'll be fine. He took damage, though, so the door is just open. Because that's the way damage abuses work. They, uh... They stop most cycles for like doors and um Is it just it might just be doors. Uh, or maybe like some of those like spear things will poke up. Thanks for the bits, Doug Bit. One hundred little bitties. Loving the commentary. Doug Bit's a good fan. And Champman91 is raiding as well. Welcome in everyone coming from Champman's stream. Welcome to the Sprash League Week 2. It's our Crash 3 race. We've got four of the best Crash 3 runners competing against each other in a 25-person community race. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. We've still got a good, good almost an hour to go, so still plenty of action to come. And uh, do we still think Potty's in the lead? Yeah, I think so. It's kind of hard to know, but we see... So Hypnoshark is the first into Area 51. He is, but he hasn't done Tomb Time, I don't think. Okay. And Area 51 is a is a one cycle? It, it, sure, it sure is. Everything in Warp 4 seems to be a one cycle. Um, yeah, he's going to get the Relic, the Box Gem, and uh, the Gem for coming first. Uh, all in one visit. The race seems close. Who's in the lead? We are like 80% sure it's Potty. It could also be Burger. Uh, but we aren't too sure because of the way Crash Free works, sadly. Um, but a lot of the routes will conjoin coming into warp five 
There's a there's a warp five. Yeah, it's also warp six, which is where Area Fifty One is. God damn it! Yeah, there's so many of them. So how how come Hypno Shark's in Area Fifty One in warp six so early? Because he's doing it for uh, Future Frenzy, which you need to go into warp six to start that level there. So you start it. Where do you finish it? You go back to warp four once you finish it. Oh. Basically, it goes future frenzy then engine. Is is how it will probably go for all of these players. Sure. I hope Iron's having a good time figuring this out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. If I'm confused, I can't imagine how confused he is. Doesn't help that he's Australian. I mean, doesn't help anything in his life. He's Australian. <laughs> uh, that is rich coming from a Scot. True. Well, as Dylan well knows, knowing nothing about a game has never stopped me from commentating on speedruns of it before. Hi, Spyro 3. We need the iron POV. I think we should, for one of these races, we should put iron in the on the stream. Yeah, replace the world record holder with iron. Not the world record holder. I'm just saying, like, you know. No, he, he is, he's the, the world record match. holder in my heart, you know? Put him on the B stream. The NWO B stream. The P stream. Ski crazed! The, uh, the only one we haven't seen so far of the jet ski levels. Uh, this is the last one. It is probably the hardest one also. This is a one cycle. Uh, the relic for gold is 50 seconds. It is pretty difficult because you miss... My, my leeway on this is if you miss three boxes, you still get it. If you miss four, you're really, really running the risk. Uh, and it is, with the waves and the jumps, it's not out of the possibility that any of these could miss four boxes. Well, Heaven of Charles doing a really good job of hitting these so far. It's very clean. Textbook stuff from the young man. Is Hypno winning? Uh, no. <laughs> We don't know who is winning, but we know it's not him. I, I, if I know anything, I know that Hypno Shark isn't winning. This is a very nice ski craze, though. It's going well. No boxes missed yet, but we're not at the hard part so far. Looks like the hard part to me. It's a hard level, so I can understand that. I imagine a, a lot of our newer runners are going to have a bit of a problem with Ski Crazed. He gets those boxes. That's very nice. Now he just needs a clean ending, and he will have had very good Ski Crazed. 33 is the ideal time you get here. Uh, because the timer, if you get every box and you don't miss any, uh, it won't move again. It stops about halfway in the level and it doesn't doesn't start again. Wow. I mean Hypno certainly looks like that just now. He hasn't missed anything yet. Tremendous ramps. Wow. Wow. Yeah, no, that's gonna be a 33. Lovely stuff. Just gonna get the last couple of boxes, I guess. And then That'll be him. Yeah, absolutely textbook. Perfect. That's gonna that's gonna save him some time here. It's gonna bring him back. He has brought that back to, to 28 seconds ahead of his, his averages. So he's gained some time. That might be a best sig. Hold up. I think he's looking. I think he's maybe. Never mind. Oh, not Never not mind. quite. Did game did game another seven seconds to his splits. Never get our first look at Future Frenzy from Nitroff. I 
Anything particularly interesting or, or notable about this level, Kieran, that we need to watch out for? Plenty, but it's uh, another dynamite situation where I'm going to say it, and it's going to make probably not a lot of sense to you, um, but I'll go for it anyway. So, yeah, yeah, say it anyway. you start in the secret warp room, you do the secret route first at the very beginning of the level, you get there and it spawns you once you finish it in the middle of the level ish. So, you need to backtrack, go get all the boxes that you missed. Because this level sucks. Including what you're about to see is him go on like a, a traveling platform here. Uh, you'll go all the way back. You need to backtrack over whole cycles. It is pretty difficult and it's going to be a lot harder for all of our newer runners. Backtrack, go all the way back and then go forward again with only one checkpoint in between all of this. Jesus. It is hard to do. Luckily, these guys have masks and they are very well uh suited to this game but it yeah, is I mean, it, it is one of the Shark hardest said, things to do in this game for sure even shark said to me that the, this run is very very mask dependent and this is kind of level y right oh for sure if you don't have masks this becomes a lot harder um as you can see nitroff has lost both of his normally you get a mask form if you are able to go damageless uh, but he has taken two hits. The Hypno is just about finished his backtracking. He's got both masks still. Uh, all of our players in Future Frenzy, except for Potty, he is currently in a Area 51, doing the uh, the one cycle. Uh, Doug, I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Kieran, but the the streamers are free to look at the runners are free to look at their chats or indeed listen to this commentary while they're streaming if they really want. Of course, yeah. No, there's nothing nothing banning them from any of that. Yeah, I don't know why you would. I think it'd be quite off putting, but maybe maybe it'd add more stress, or maybe it would just be funny. I don't know. I mean, I would like to be telling Hypnoshark how terrible he's doing at all times during his run. That would be. That's nice. That'd be good content. Not have him talking to us, just him listening to us talk about how far behind he is. Yeah. Talk about how stupid he is. Even if he's end up, if he's one he actually winning one of these races at some point, we still tell him he's really far behind. That is a pretty costly death for Nitroff. Uh you know where I think we are really seeing what you talked about with Nitroff earlier. You said, you know, he, he he's a runner who clearly has talent but struggles to put a full run together and i think we're seeing that here in this run you know he was so he was really quite far ahead at one point was in a really good position and it's just a few mis a few really costly mistakes have turned this from potentially a pb run to something he's really struggling with yeah this this went from a you know a 204 which is a, a really really good time to you know, he's now behind his PB. He's like probably 207 bound uh, if, he, if he keeps up on this level of gameplay. Um, that's just, you know, that's just how, how big it can change. Yeah, but consistent stuff from Burger and Potty. From, actually, Potty's probably been the most consistent, right? He's had the fewest mistakes. Um, yeah, I think he's been the most consistent, um, but also I think he's probably been the most safe, and I think he shook off most of his nerves after getting all of that out in making waves, like that big one mistake. We can see Nitroff and Burger both in engine, which is a really weird level. Engine, my favorite boss. It's just cool. Yeah, I can see that. We're all right with cool. You're not cool, though. Oh, thanks. No worries, mate. Uh, so, yeah, um, this level has a chance of crashing, but really, it, it, it just shouldn't for the most part. These guys, they are going to um, shoot all of these, and they're going to break off, and that's how you win. Isn't that awesome? 
Hypno hasn't done blimps yet for us, he's pointing out, which I think uh, is correct. Dugbit with another 100 bits. He is the bit guy. That's his gimmick. So he's living up to it here. Yeah, um, Hypno leaves blimps for the last in a in in warp four. Yeah, he's going to be doing them after this relic. For sure, yeah. And then he'll do engine, and then he'll do blimps relic, and then off to warp five. Oh, actually, he might do tomb time after blimps relic. There's Potty getting there. What's that level called again? I forget. Ski crazed. Ski crazed, yes. He got a 41. So that means he probably missed one or two boxes. But that's gonna be okay, right? He's got he's got the time he needs. Yeah, yeah, no, 41 is under 50, so he's done good. Perfect. So what level is this that uh, Nitro's gone back into? I lose track of all these different levels that look the same. It's alright, mate. It's Tell No Tales. Tell No Tales. Yeah, so far, uh, all the levels, they are the same things, but just either relics or you've seen them before. Yeah, so nothing much to say. A bit more future flight uh, from Potty here in the, the side-scrolling section for Burger. Oh, Potty losing his... Uh, one of his masks there. Yeah, he won't get invincibility. Let's hit those for trying to take down the blimps. Hopefully no engine crash for him. Finishing up that last box and then that last blimp was in great position for him. Clean up the end of that level. So yeah, engine gonna be coming up for Hypno Shark. And where are we now with uh with Burger? Burger is in warp five, first guy to make it there. Uh, Flaming Passion is uh there's no one cycle here, but if you die before the second checkpoint. You have to restart the level. There is a death route here to get the green gem. And it's um it's pretty hard platforming. Pretty difficult. Oh, look at that. Beautiful movement from Burger to get up there. I see what you mean about it being difficult. Yeah, for sure. You bazooka that box, you don't have to go over there or backtrack for it, even worse. And Nitrov's in the Future Flight Relic. What's the what kind of time are we looking at for there? Uh, I'm not sure. I forget. Uh, One twenty-five. That's not too difficult, a Relic. I actually don't know. Somebody in chat knows, like off the top of their head. How many people are running? Dugbit twenty-five. Twenty-five are running. Obviously, none have finished yet. We've still got. A good chunk of run to go at least uh, half an hour before somebody's going to finish this race. And take home that $100 first prize. And of course the 100 points in the Sprash League. Big 100 points. Huge 100 points. And I, I do hope that these, uh, as many people as possible of these people who, who win these races do come back and try the, uh, the Sprash Vector. If they qualify, because getting a hundred points that puts you on a in a really great position to then go on and, and have a chance to be in that final Sprash League Sprash Factor race. For sure, one thirty four by the way for future frenzy. I was off by nine seconds. My bad. Uh, is there a leaderboard for the Sprash League? Is that uh, there is? is yes. Uh, is it exclamation mark table? It might be. Give that a try in chat. I might have gaslit you. 
how come Kieran isn't running? That's a good question, Dougbit. Why aren't you running? There you go. Yep, that's it. I did it right. I'm good. Why am I not running? Uh, pfft, busy in it. Too busy running the event. Nah, nah, that's not me. And commentating it. That's not me. Oh, Kieran's put a lot of work into this race, other than running it. He's done pretty much everything else except running it. Exactly. I have done everything in my power not to run this event. So if you if you're appreciative of Kieran and all his efforts and the work of him and Hypno Shark and putting this together, funding this whole event, you can set you can uh, hit the donate link. Someone will post that in chat just now. Exclamation mark donate. And that will help Ooh. go back to recouping some of the costs for this event and potentially funding future events. It will. And also, uh, Burger died in Flaming Passion. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh. It was towards the end as well. So that is a huge time loss. Um, oh, SpaghettiOs. He's, oh, man, I think like 205 pace now. Ooh, yikes. Zwinkies. So do we still reckon Potty's uh, well ahead? I I don't know. I really don't know, because I don't know what the other two have left, and I don't know what Potty has done. Um, Genuinely not a clue. But I think Burger and Nitroff are, are like, they've done the same amount. So I think Burger is ahead of Nitroff. I don't know about Potty. Also, uh, in the bottom bottom right for you, uh, Hypno Shark is doing Boneyard One Cycle, and hopefully he gets it. What is my favourite thing about my fellow commentator? You know, um, when he's quiet. Wow. I was going to say, because Kieran's a really uh, really creative guy with full of ideas, and it's actually a real pleasure to work with someone like that. Oh, anyway. But, you know, whatever. Ah, oh, he gets it. 138. Beautiful Boneyard 1 cycle. Beautiful stuff. Uh, we're also going to see Bug Light one cycle after the uh, the normal one. You see that blue platform there. Normally, you would get the checkpoint and go back and then die after you get the gem. But you can get the relic and go on that route at the same time. So that's what I assume the three uh, top players are going to do. That was some more of our truly outstanding chemistry there, Kieran. Yeah, you know. I'm the funny one. I'm the sexy one. You're the oh. you're the Scottish one. The Scottish psychopath. You're, uh, you're definitely a psychopath. What just happened in What just happened to Nitrov? What happened? I didn't see. He, he jumped and went through the platform, and now was to restart the whole. Oh, and he just died again. Oh my god. Uh, he got a glitch. Literally, as he was jumping up to the platform, the portal was on. As he was jumping up to the platform, the portal was on. Yeah, and he just oh, he went. Oh, he went through the thing. Oh, okay. Nitrov. So yeah, if you the collision with this game is really awkward. If you go through like a ledge, there is always a chance you just fall through it. It's yes, really that, that's sad. And it's literally the it was the last ledge of the entire relic. Yeah. Wow. And he's now died wow. two more times in this reattempt because. I think it's fair to say he's rattled. I think I reckon so. Yeah, maybe. I think that's you got to put. That's what you got to put it down to. When he has two fairly avoidable deaths, just after that, you know. Well, like I mean, you saw his after. face. You know, you saw his face. He was absolutely gobsmacked. Yeah. He almost did it again. <laughs> he almost. He almost clipped in again. You can see there. He's. I mean, he's losing over a minute on the split do you know what i wonder i wonder if you clip into it but then you like death tornado spin as you clip into it could you get through the portal from beneath could you save it yeah yeah i wonder somebody should check somebody try that 
You won't get any money for it, but uh, just do it. Innit? Yeah, Nitro had a real bad time, lost a minute and 10 seconds on that split. Jeez, I mean, he was a minute and a half up at one point. I think I think he lost more than a minute ten. I think that might just be on his splits. Yeah. But yeah, lost a, a whole bunch of time. Oh, never around with a gift sub for Nitro, the petty gift. Imagine, imagine Hypnoshark gets a train. Choo-choo, guys, choo-choo. Well, boost train is close. Quick, someone give something. Jamie the bunny with the hundred bits. Yes. I did We're something. I did something good in my life. Yes. Yes. This is what it's all about, baby. Sprash League. <laughs> let's let's keep donating to recommend the Sprash League to as many unsuspecting Twitch viewers as possible. We want to ruin their days Amen. by forcing them to watch this. He bought with a gift sub. Oh, we're having fun here. This is what it's like to be a successful streamer. It's, it's a new experience for both of us. Yeah, it's never going to happen to me. Uh, lots of, uh, lots and lots of stuff happening in Gone Tomorrow right the, now. This is the Tomb, the Tomb Time one cycle that we were waiting for. Uh, Hypno Shark isn't doing the one cycle. He's the only one who's not doing it. He doesn't... I don't think I don't think he knows how to do it effectively, um, and he could probably do it with button glitch, but I don't think he even tries it. But he's just doing the the normal way. Um, We've got Potty and Flaming Passion Relic. He'll be hoping it goes better than Nitrov's did. Better than both of theirs did, because Burger and Nitrov both died uh, at the end of Flaming Passion Relic. Yeah, Nick with the five gift subs, including one that hit potty. Holy shit. All right, someone gift a burger if he hasn't already got a sub. Yeah, everyone needs to be subbed. Give to Hypno Shark. I say, if you want to contribute, exclamation mark, donate as well to help fund the Sprash League and fund future events. Donate does give us more direct compensation for uh running this big silly event um but subs and bits also very much appreciated um just any support even watching even even saying man this sucks helps well i mean does it uh well not my fragile ego but it you know helps with if interaction you, if you do say that it sucks i will tell you to go fuck yourself yeah but you know I won't. Like the guy we made the super funny pronoun joke earlier. That was. Yeah, that was a guy. But you know, he's now... that was a person that existed and can get to fuck. Yeah, he's now gone. Wonderful. Hoggies. I don't know if uh, anyone's watching any other runners. If there's any updates on anyone who I mean might be ahead of where these guys are. If you do see something, guys, keep us informed. We can't watch all the runs obviously at the same time. So, uh, of course, we do have Rico in the race as well, who uh rocks a I believe a 209. Yeah, uh, Rico in warp five, T Bolt say, which is um, you know, he, he's still got you know, he's better than Hypno, so really anybody for the top five here. 207 is Rico's PB 207. I am off. Oh, yeah, of course, it is. I literally spoke to him the other day, <laughs> and I was like, if you get it, yeah, whatever. Frosty, if we want to watch all 25 runs, we're going to have to do it like Soccer Saturday, where we've all got different uh, runs that we're watching. Oh my god, can we get Chris Kamara? Can we just talk about how it's unbelievable, Jeff? Can we get Chris Kamara? If we can get Chris Kamara for Sprash League, uh, I'll die happy. That would be sick. He's probably on Cameo. K Kamara, yo. That sucks. You should get a celebrity Cameo to introduce the final, the final race. Who would I get? I don't know. Andy Gavin. Get, uh... I don't know. Get... Stephen Downing. 
Shut up. Get Scott Parker. <laughs> I hate talking to you. Um, Bug Light now. Bug Light, I believe, one cycle for Burger coming up. <laughs> Timo, there's been a double header crash, but for who, Chris Kamara? I'm dead. I'm dead. That's, that's awful. That is awful. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> it's so funny. I don't ever want to hear that. You know what? I changed my mind. I don't want Chris Kamara doing commentary. Oh, imagine it'd be like Mike Tyson doing commentary on Rampage last night. We just get Chris Kamara for the Sprash League final. Yeah, no. Uh, so bug like one cycle. Um, this is all based on cycles. Um, you gotta beat beat the doors. If you've ever seen Hole in the Wall, it's kind of like that. What a game show! It's so good, isn't it? Ring on the wall. Dale Winton. Rest in peace, by the way. Is he dead? Yeah, he died like a few oh. years ago, didn't he? You know when you hear the beep? The, uh, something F. fart sweep. Press F to pay respects to Dale Winton, the former host of Supermarket Sweep. And Hole in the Wall. And Hole in the Wall. Rebooted with uh, Rylan, Supermarket Sweep. No. Oh, uh, what? That Is sounds it like it sucks. I don't, I don't, I don't hate Rylan. I don't hate him. He's not Dale Winton. I don't. He was on Big Brother, so... And I like Big Brother. So. I don't know how we got to Dale Winton. <laughs> uh, this bug like one cycle is going fantastic for Burger. He's doing really well. Um, he should just get this without without a hiccup. Yeah, Orange Deity is absolutely right. And this is something I was saying earlier, is that, you know, you don't to win the overall Sprash League, you don't have to get the number one spot in any one individual race you have to be consistent across all six games and then put that together into a good sprash vector time at the end of it yeah where consistency will be key because that is 12 hours of your life that you are just playing a video game um so you've really oh nitroformus died in the bonus there uh yeah you've really gotta really gotta have a good consistent gameplay there yeah i don't know why anyone would want to do that to themselves 12 hours of playing speed games but i did it once and got 15 hours in and crashed in crash 2 at the very end of the game oh you did isn't that funny it wasn't that funny no it's kind of funny though it was actually just really quite sad it's a little bit funny though potty was so unlucky i mean i think i don't know i think we can all they can all lay claim to some pretty bad luck in this run for sure yeah How many other people are consistently running all six Sprash games in the same sort of rate that Hypnoshock is? I, I don't know if anyone runs those games. I don't think anyone is, but you've got to remember, you know, the people who have or are, like, Burgerlands and, you know, Nitroff, they have worse. They have world records, and they are the best in some games, specifically Crash Free and Spyro Free for each of them, respectively. So, I don't know. I think... It really comes down to consistency versus peak. Um, and we'll see that when it comes to the Sprash Vector, I think. Do you know if any of these guys have their sights on that final Sprash Vector? Have they mentioned it at all? Uh, I know Hypno Nitroff, uh, Nuja. I'm not sure about Burger, but he might join if he makes top four. Um, Zach, Zachary Lawrence. Yep. Um, you know, he, you, he had a great time in the Sparrow 1. Yeah, he got sick, I believe, just yeah. behind Katie. Um, and did he not lose a bunch of time to credit skip, I think? He did. He lost two minutes. <laughs> he was on PV yeah. pace. And I, I stupidly said he got a PV. But he didn't. But he even. didn't because he lost two minutes to credit skip. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, lots of names to watch out for. And then, you know, maybe you just see a wild card like Dale Man just, you know, coming in, playing Crash for the first time in a Sprash Factor. Yeah, the last time I saw him play Crash was Crash 1, and uh, it went really well. <laughs> Walking ETD is the encore to the Sprash Factor. I mean, if you want to see it, exclamation mark, donate. No, the more you no, donate, no, more you, events will no, run. No, I will, I will run events... Hopefully till the day I die, and never, 
ever will talk in ETD <laughs> go through my brain. You can't if, if, make if me. You don't, if you reach the secret donation incentive, Kieran will run a talk in ETD duo effect race. Not a chance. You can you can set the hidden number as high as you want, Kieran. No, no, because it isn't a number. There isn't a number on Earth. I mean, there's a number you could give me and I'd do it. Yeah, but you'd do anything. For money? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mad Bombers. Um, it's, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, there is a route. Really, you just follow the arrow, though. Uh, and Orange Asphalt, again, it's just another racing level. A lot of it really is coming down to just, you know, consistencies. Because uh, at the end, you just leave the vehicle levels. Because um, they've done most of the platforming. But uh, Polly about to go into bug like one cycle now. Hopefully he gets it. Uh, it's probably the last hard thing he has in the run. Then, then it's the final stretch for all of our players. Oh, nice little hole skip from Nitroff there. You can go over the holes, by the way, in Orange Asphalt. Um, as long as you have your boost and you don't like go in the middle of the hole, <laughs> just die. Uh, you can you can skip past it. It's pretty cool. Burger lost 30 seconds in Mad Bomber Relic. So Burger Wait, not what? having a good time. He, how much did he lose? He said he lost 30 seconds. It's only 10 on his splits, but... Uh, he might have had time save. And Potty hitting door skip. What's door skip? I don't know. Dylan said it. Don't listen to Dylan. <laughs> he doesn't play this game. Fuck you, Dylan. <laughs> Door skip. Oh. <laughs> Didn't manage to skip over that hole. Hypno finishing up Bug Light Relic now. Good stuff. He's still got Gone Tomorrow to do. I think everybody else has done Gone Tomorrow. Yeah, Hypno does a very different route from the rest of everyone here. Look at these hole skips. Ugh. Oh. Oh, God, it's so awesome. Potty coming into the to the end stages of a bug like one cycle now. What is with the rave going on where you are, Kieran? We're just having a party for Sprash League. <laughs> the, the, the Sprash League hospitality party is absolutely jumping. Yeah, we're with our secret donors. Um, just pumping it. Pump it up. God, that is incredibly annoying. Hey, it happens. Again, thank God for push to talk. Everyone, everyone's trying to throw me off now. This party has been sponsored by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Yeah, adrenochrome cocktails for everyone. Do you know what adrenochrome is, Kieran? Not a clue. I wasn't going to mention it. And then you brought it up again. It's what crazy people think rich people drink. It's uh, the blood of children. Oh, that's awesome. It's only, it's only keep okay, so Burger's going to go into Cortex now. He's going to back out so he can go and do the other levels. Because uh, otherwise you'd have to beat Cortex and then watch the credits. Um, and then do all the other things to get 105. Which we don't want to do. So we're going to back out of Cortex. So last week I taught you about vinegar strokes. This week I've taught you about adrenochrome. Next week it's going to be like, this is how you do tax fraud. <laughs> I, did, I did that on one of Sipno's Sprash Vectors. Yeah, no. Yeah, you're, you're awful. I didn't talk to him about tax fraud. I just talked to him about, you know, use, being clever with your taxes when you're self-employed. Oh, Nitroff restarted Orange Asphalt. How far along was he? Was he like a minute in? Oh, damn. Yeah, it's just been bad runs across the board for, like, the top. I, d I don't think they'll be very happy with their gameplay. I think, potentially, the, the happiest person right now is probably Hypno. You know, he's a I minute and a half. I think so, half. yeah, I think so. He's actually getting quite close to his PB. He's on, like, 2.11 pace. 
210 pace right now. He's on two, high 210 pace right now. Hi, yeah, high 210. And he's, he's, on, he's on the cusp of a 210. Yeah. Which would be... He's restarting really again, Nitroff. Oh, man. Oh. This, is what we, this is what we were saying earlier. Nitroff has shown some incredible skill in this run, but just it can all fall apart so quickly, and it, it just really has fallen apart for him really has again these are good runs in like a vacuum if we're talking about like the race and such um but for the for themselves they'll probably be a bit disappointed with all the mistakes happening you know so especially in late game as well so close to the end there we go that's orange asphalt finished up for burger um, that's it for Vault 5. I think he's just going into 6 and then and then he's done. I don't know what he's got left. Has he got all of all of Warp 6 left? Uh, he's on a 2 or 4 pace. Yeah, he has all of uh, Warp 6 left. So he's got Rings of Power, Skier Grace, and Area 51. Which both Hypnoshark and Potty have done. I don't remember if Nitroff has. This is Rings of Power for Burger. Um, is and the final flight level? Final flight level, yeah. Um, Potty has Orange Asphalt Relic, Mad Bombers, Crystal, and Relic, and then Rings of Power. So, I don't know who's in the lead. <laughs> I think it's Burger. Burger's got Ring of Power, Sea Craze, and Area 51. Yeah. Uh, Polly has more things to do. He has Rings of Power, Mad Bombers, both visits, and he's just finishing up Orange Asphalt. And Burger has oh. Ski Craze and Area 51, he's just finishing up Rings of Power. So, Polly has one extra level, and I think Burger is in the lead for sure. I mean, this is a, a disaster for, for Nitroff here. He's going to be... He's restarting he's, the trial again. He's going again. Oh, Lord. He's lost already three minutes on Orange Asphalt. Yeah, I think he's I think he's suddenly locked himself behind Polly now. I mean, is it is it the position where even Hypnoshark might catch him? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it really is. I think he's, he's going to be on two eleven. I am, I am pretty sure Sam's in the lead uh, over Nitroff now. Wow. Well, this is what we said. You know, this is a, a one of the races where Sam could actually be genuinely competitive. For sure, yeah. No, we we didn't like doubt his ability going into it. Um, anything can happen. Anything has happened. Anything that you could name probably has happened during uh, these runs. Um, and it's given given Hypno what a lot of people call the consistency goat. Um, he did he did drop uh, nearly 20 seconds in that first Gone Tomorrow visit, though. So he's, he's dropped back a little bit from that 210 pace. Yeah, but uh, 211 still, you know. Yeah, no, absolutely. As I say, you know, if you look at Nitroff splits now, he is on 212 pace without having finished this level yet. He's going to be looking at 2.13. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't miss another box. Did he miss uh, that? He missed that box, I think. Oh, this oh, is just man. This is painful. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Burger looks to be at about a, a 2.05 pace, probably. Based on his last split. We need two or five. Like to finish up. Huh? Well, he's running against PB, and he's about which is one fifty nine thirty one. Yeah. And he's about five and a half up on that. Yeah. Be so it'd be about two or six. Two five two six. You're so weird. You're so, you're so goofy. 
the one fifty nine thirty. Yeah, he's, but he's on he's on the upper he's on the upper you know parameter. Saying. And he's also Mr. Box in Ski Craze. And because Potty doesn't have splits to compare to, it's hard to tell if he's winning. But he's now in Mad Bomber's Relic. Yeah, he's got ring uh, rings of power after this. Uh, I am I am pretty sure he is behind Burger by about a minute and a half, or just a minute. So if he he's got rings of power. Is that the only level he's got left after Ski Craze? Yeah. Sorry, after uh, he's got. He's got he's got this and then rings of power and then cortex, whereas uh, Bergen now just has area fifty one. Right. Actually, it's going to be closer than I thought because rings yeah, of power I, I isn't too speaking. long. It's like a minute and a half, and this yeah, is uh, this is another minute. Oh, oh, I've miscalculated this. Oh, this could be tight. <laughs> this is exciting. I just got really really excited. Nitro finishes orange asphalt. Let's go. Oh, thank God. I mean, that's a two. That's that's close to two fifteen. Yeah, kind of this time. is this is a. It's rough. It's very. It's very rough. Unfortunately, that's a thing can happen in these race environments. You know, with the with the one chance, you've only got one shot. They don't miss your chance to blow. Uh, respect to you know, from finishing though. Um, oh yeah, he's gonna keep going. I know for a fact uh, I would. I would mold like a bitch and then just turn off my game. Oh yeah. So big props. Uh so orange asphalt relic for Hypno right now? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, no. Uh I do think Potty is ahead by a minute. I I was so wrong. I, I for some reason, was like calculating another level in my head for potty. As long as he doesn't have a mare, potty will probably win this. Hypno might be slightly walled in orange asphalt as well. Uh, has he had to restart? I think he has restarted the relic. And he skipped a split for the uh, for the first visit, so I don't know if something went wrong there. I think he missed a box. He missed a box, right. So he's doing the one cycle now. Which won't lose him any time as long as he gets all the boxes. This is looking good for Area 51. Also looking good for Rings of Power. He does get that happy with that Hypno Shark. Gets the one cycle. Yeah, so he was he was planning to do the crystal and gem and then the relic separately, not doing the one cycle slightly, which is a harder route. Oh my god. Potty's... Potty Potty and Burger are like within ten seconds of each other. Yeah, they both just finished their last level. Oh my god. This is gonna come down to the wire. And you can see the burger is a couple of seconds ahead. He is ahead, I was right. I got gaslit. <laughs> It's about three seconds. Looking at the time when they came out of that last level. And taking into account that Burger has, has about a second and a half on his timer as well. This is really quite close. So 203.27 versus 203.30 jumping into the final level. That, that, uh... That final gem that Coca gives you is a confirmation of 105. This is there's there's actually three seconds in this. It's this is wild. I do think Polly started a little late. Um so I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know who wins this. Way. Yeah, I, I, I think I've taken that into account in saying the burger's about three seconds ahead. I do think if all goes all oh, that is a bad cortex phase one. For uh, for Potty, yeah, I think Burger does win. As long as you know anything can go wrong, anything can go wrong. Meanwhile, both the other two are in Mad Bombers as well. Yeah, for sure. I think uh, this has been a great run for Hypno. 
Minecraft might be a bit disappointed, but these two here in Cortex. That's the second phase done at 2433. Ooh. Oh no. Potty. That was like four hits. Yeah, yeah I think I think he's locking in his, his second place here. He lost a couple of seconds on that second on that second phase. I'm actually really intrigued by how close Nitrov and, and Hypno are as well. Again, Hypno has a couple of seconds ahead on the timer, so he's... Uh, there you go. And Burger finishes with a 205.13. 205.13, once you take into account the five seconds. And Potty with and a 205.22. 205 Wow, nine, nine seconds. seconds. Nine yeah. seconds in it. After over that two wild. hours. That is that is absolutely crazy. GG's so to both of them. Uh, that is so awesome. It was that close. Yeah, so Burgerlands takes home the win and the $100 first prize. Potty coming in just second. I mean, what a run for Potty. Nitro yeah. has been incredibly unfortunate. Um, we will keep you updated on who gets third. Um, but I think Hypnoshark is in the running for third. Uh, Burgerland said, worst run of my life since six days ago. Yeah. Because <laughs> his last run was a 201 before this. Which, you know, if he gets a 201, he, he wins pretty, pretty, pretty good. He wins pretty money there. Is the price? It's a uh, hundred dollars for the first prize, forty for second, twenty for third. One hundred forty twenty, yeah. Yeah. And we're Same. seeing who gets that twenty. So those nine seconds, the difference between the sixty dollars, those nine seconds are worth. Yeah, yeah, and you know, probably like a crucial ten point difference as well. Yeah, maybe that's all important. Sprash League table. We're still waiting to see if anyone else is coming across the line. No one else uh, on the race time. GG. We'll keep we'll you. Let you know. Yeah, we'll keep you all up to date with that. Um, as we as we see, Hypno Shark come out of Mad Bombers Relic. A one nineteen, pretty good for him. Pretty good. Yep, he's just, he so he's just got Rings of Power and uh, Cortex left. That is that is all he has left, or we give him his full name, Jose Fonte. Yep. And what's uh, what's Nitrov got to do after the, after ski crazed? Uh, I think he has. Does he have everything left in um, Hub Six? I think he might have. There's another split, so he has to have at least rings something. of power in Area Fifty One, maybe. Wow, he's he's like a full level and a bit behind Hypno now. Ah, uh, yeah, be I believe I believe so. If uh, if Hypno Shark finishes this, this is closing out a nice two eleven for him. Um, which I, is, at this point, he'll be very he's happy. Got, as I say, he's on his last level before the boss. Hypno f finishing in third is definitely not a wealth of possibility. But I'm hearing that Rico is pretty close behind Hypno. Okay, okay. Maybe we've got a, got a little got a little bow for third going. Polly has added a comment to his race time GG. Let me see what that says. Oh, yeah, Making wave relic. sapphire pog. Yeah, that was a that was a rough beginning. That doesn't happen, and he gets uh he does he does win there. Yeah, uh Rico is in is in rings of power as well. Uh, but he looks like to be about 30 seconds behind. Yeah, he's he's only got that's ring 13, just as Hypno is finishing. So unless oh, something wow. goes badly wrong in the rest in the the final boss here, Hypno is probably going to come home and take third. Wow, he's going to win money in his own event. Uh, the fix is in. It's outrageous. You're not Shout out Doug Bit for giving some bits to, to Rico as well. Spreading the love. Love to see it. You can see these guys' Twitch channels on the screen, so go give them a follow as well. Follow some of these runners. Maybe you find yourself a new favorite runner.
And as we said all throughout, remember to donate, exclamation mark donate, to help fund this event and future events like it. Kieran and Hitman Shark have funded this out of their own pocket and put everything together. So we give back a little bit if you've got a little bit of spare change. Get that done. Final Cortex now for, uh, for the big Hypno. Yeah, and Rico is just heading in that direction. Yeah, as long as, uh, <clears throat> as, long as nothing crazy happens in Cortex, we, we have our third and fourth. Yeah, Area 51 for Nitroff and then Rigs of Power. So he's, what, eight and a half down. He's looking at a two, 214, 215. Yeah, probably 215, maybe. And Hitmashark is still trying for a 210. Might just be a low 211. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it can 210. Yeah, a little bit too slow for that. He was, he's been flirting with that 210 pace uh, in the, the back half of this run, really. Yeah. A Hitmashark's PB is a 2... Ooh, is it a 210? It's a 210, yeah. 210, like, 02, 09? I don't, I'm not sure. It's a low 210. Somebody right. in chat saying 208. We have conflicting answers. <laughs> I do have it. Here actually. it is. Final phase. He's just hitting him in the hole now. 210, 25. Beautiful stuff. GG's Hypnoshark. 225, so only, only 30 seconds uh, <laughs> behind his PB. The 21105. What? Yeah, he's crushed Are you it. Serious? And, he, and that's it. Third place. I think he's now he's just overreacting place. again. We're going to switch over audio to Nitroff. And Sam will join us in a second. I think he's pretty, he's pretty stunned he managed to get third there. That's a great result for the man trying to qualify for the final Sprash Vector. You got this. Not just about the money, but also about those all important points. And there's Rico finishing up 2.11.50, so just 40 seconds behind uh, Hypno Sharp, but Rico is taking that fourth place. Big fourth place. I don't know if we have anybody. Okay, Berg is going into Sparrow 2 now. Yes, he's getting uh, ready for next week. <laughs> he's, he's giving it a little treat of what we, what we have coming. Um, a little preview. Yeah, so it will be uh, 8 p.m. UTC next week. Yes, uh, we will be an hour later next week, uh, and we'll be doing that Burgers for the rest of the runs. <laughs> we just had a little bit of a time issue this week, but we'll be back to normal next week. Nitroff finishing up. Rings of Power now. Just always Lovely. Right. Lovely. Lovely. He'll stuff. take a break, and then he, uh, he's going to he'll come in and join us. Sounds good. So just looking to see if anyone else is going to be finishing up. Julia Bandicoot, thank you for the five gifted subs. I, I was not expecting that, but I guess it makes sense. Oh, we did. And uh, all right, well, Burger is heading into Glimmer. He's getting his split. He's got his splits up. <laughs> He's going. <laughs> He's going. Wow. Wow. Well, this is this is good content. <laughs> all right. So. Uh, yeah, and Glimmer, this is the first level you come into, not a hub world. <laughs> oh, uh, no, yeah, uh, so he's going to go talk to this guy, and now he's going to kill the first dinosaur. Uh, wow. Oh, he's, he's got out of bounds there to get, to get this orb uh, early, and you're going to see him get, manipulate the lanterns as well uh, to get those early. And if you, oh, backtrack. And if you look at Polly's stream, uh, Polly's going into the Pog Owl. Um, you know, this Never is it's, it's a hard, to spiral to rip it's those a hard skip. It's a hard skip Polly's doing now. Hopefully he gets it. Um Oh, this is rough. Oh oh Polly oh Polly gets it. That's great. Fantastic. Good stuff from him. I'm trying to call a spiral two run here. Oh, sorry, I was trying to call the Pog out run. And you see uh Burger's actually doing the one cycle here of getting the outdoor lamps and the, the lizards. At the same time. This is the dumbest bit of all time. <laughs> Alright. Let's get let's see if we can get Sam in here. Well, Nitroff is gonna finish off Cortex and it looks like he is gonna take fifth. Uh, this will be a two fourteen, uh, so long as the final phase doesn't go to pot. 
Oh, New Jar. New Jar. Oh? Has finished. 214.33. I think that's a PB for him. I want to double check. Frosty with another sub as well. Yeah, New Jar coming in fifth, so it's actually going to be sixth for Nitrov. Someone else finished. No. Yeah. The third seed in the race. I mean, a disappointing time. There he is, finishes 214.58. Coming in on the GG's board. to Nitroff. GG. Yeah, GG's everyone for Nitroff. I mean, 214 still an incredibly good time. Still good enough for top six. And good enough for a solid haul of points in the Sprash League table. Uh, do we have Hypno Shark? N not yet. I'm, tell I'm telling him to come chat. But in the meantime, Burger trying to clean up the gems here. In Glimmer. I'm going to get those fi this final lizard. Shoot up with the rock. 400 gems. Is he going to one-cycle the level? Or oh, he's going to have to go back. You want the Iron View? I can give you the Iron View. Hold on. Can you? That would That would be good. Thank you. There he is. Oh, the third place finisher in this race, Hypno Shark. I think uh, <laughs> you you can be pretty happy with that run there. I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm still a little bit in disbelief, to be honest with you. Um, I kind of really close believe. to a two. It was really close to a two ten. Yeah, and that's my PB. So yeah. Yeah, that, that, I mean, besides, like, what, Hot Coco and maybe, no, just Hot Coco, really. Hot Coco and maybe, of all things, under pressure, of all things, right at the start of the run. Yeah, really, really not bad. I think, for the most part, uh, that was a really, really close race between Burger and Potty, right? Oh, yeah, it came down to nine seconds. Nine yeah. seconds between them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's disgusting. A 2.15.13 two for Burger and a 2.5.22 a two for Potty. Yeah, okay, that's ridiculous. It was outrageous. Yeah. I could not yeah. predict who was going to win. It was actually uh, it was really quite close between you and Rico for third and fourth as well. I, I must be honest, towards the end, I was like, okay, two people have finished, and I was kind of just ready for more people to finish. and, and it, Yeah. Yeah, just wow. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, Rico finished about forty seconds behind you, and then it was uh, New Jar and, and New Nitroff. Jar and Nitroff, right? Yeah. Any more yeah. finishers? Any more? Uh, not yet. We're still waiting for more to come through. Um, obviously, I don't know you were focused on your run, but uh, Nitroff finishing up with a two fourteen fifty eight. Uh, he had a mare. He had a was, really bad time. Was it rough? It was. It uh, was hard. Yeah. Uh, I saw, I, I think I I saw his comment and it was like something about Orange Asphalt or something. Yeah, yeah. Orange, he lost uh, about seven minutes yeah, on so, Orange Asphalt. And I, think, oh. I think it was like five, actually. I don't think it was oh. seven. It, he went from yeah, 157 to 846. Really? It was nearly seven minutes. No yeah, shot. That's really, that's really hard. Uh, Crash Free can do that to you, though. Like, you, you fail one relic and it kind of snowballs and it's yeah, rough. Yeah. Because what was the what was the other one he failed uh, where he clipped through the ground? Oh yeah, he uh, clipped through the like the thing at the end of um, Flaming Passion. At the end? Yeah, he clipped through the floor. <sighs> yeah, it was so it was, it was an unlucky unlucky turn of events. It, it just I mean, seemed like Andy Gavin bullied him. And it's crazy because midway through the run, he was in the lead. By he was yeah. a little bit as well. Pace as well. Cra crashery. Like man. like two oh four pace. Like he yeah. was on nuts nuts speed run. Well, you know. Crash free yeah. for you. That's what happens. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it goes. And uh, yeah. Burger is now treating us to a Spyro 2 run. I was going to say, he immediately goes on Spyro 2 in preparation for next Great week. crush. That He's was a really fucking good. fucking gamer. <laughs> Saves a second there. Uh, he'll be happy with that. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to keep streaming and commenting. No, we, no we bloody aren't. Um, <laughs> I'll let you close out whilst I find something to read. I'm looking at uh, Zach. Is, he's on pace for about a 2.24. 2.24. 
trying to see if anyone else, uh, if anyone in chat knows if anyone else is close to finishing. It'd be nice to see if we can maybe write out the top 10 before we finish up or something like that. We will be uh, raiding one of the uh, one of the less experienced runners. Give them give them some limelight because you know oh, this yeah. is a community event after all. And uh, what is Iron doing? That's what I need to know. Well, that Iron's is... Iron's on stream right now. The uh, the two best crash free runners side by side. Uh, Burgerlands, yeah, Burgerlands doing and Spyro Iron. two, yeah. and <laughs> and Iron Spider nineteen eighty seven. <laughs> this is big for us. This is big. This is huge. This is a massive moment in my life. But yeah, that was, uh, from what I can tell, everything ran smoothly, which is awesome. And, yeah. Uh, we should raid Burger if he's just going to do Spyro 2 runs. <laughs> we, we bloody shouldn't. <laughs> um, what about, how about we give some love to uh, what I'm thinking? What I'm thinking. Uh, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what you're thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what you're thinking. How about, about CD-Romatron? Oh, CD-Romatron? Yes. I was, I was going to suggest well, Hammerhead well, Labs, because he's another guy who's in, potentially, for the whole, the whole Sprash Vector. For sure. I mean, listen, even, we've got six weeks. We've got six weeks. We've got six weeks. We can spread the love evenly everywhere. Sure, Hammerhead, he, Hammerhead's a, an SRT runner as well. Oh, yeah, what, a what a shame. <laughs> what a shame. We'll see you next week ratio. for Spiral 2. Remember, exclamation mark donate, exclamation mark league for all the information. Thank you very much for watching another thrilling race. It's certainly the closest race we've had so far. I wonder what Spiral 2 will throw up.